going to go to our verse. I want to thank Bishop for this opportunity. It's a great opportunity. I, I love to minister. I love to lift up Jesus. And it ministers to me. And I hope it ministers to you tonight. I'm calling this uh, Count Your Blessings. Blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. You may be seated. I've been thinking about this verse and other verses related to it. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, similar thing. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, all, and all these things that you need will be added unto you. This is, a, this is a big deal to me because sometimes I get caught up on all the blessings. But there's, there's different kinds of blessings. There's earthly blessings, and we certainly have those, and, and probably a lot of them. In, in America, we're very blessed. But that's not what I'm talking about tonight, to count your blessings. Let's just set those aside for a little bit. And what we don't want to think about is those who have everything. They're blessed. Maybe not. Just because you've got big houses, big money, big whatever, power, you may be cursed, actually. That's not what makes you blessed. We are blessed. Can you say amen? When Jesus taught about blessings, he mentions nine different things in the, what we call the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor, blessed are the, they that mourn, blessed are the meek, blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness, blessed are the merciful, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are the peacemakers, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, blessed are they which are reviled for righteousness' sake. Not one of these shows us that we're getting blessed by material things. So I submit to you that if you're walking in this, if you're seeking God, if you're hungering and thirsting after righteousness tonight, you can't be no more blessed. You may not have a big bank account. You might have a broken down car. You might be unemployed. But if you're walking in this and you're hungering and thirsting after righteousness, and if you're showing mercy to people, and if you're doing these things, you are blessed. Those are the blessings we need to count. And those are the blessings we need to examine and be thankful for. Yes, we can be thankful for our homes and all those things. We should be. But this is eternal. In the Old Testament, blessings were material. Mostly. Land, cattle, all kinds of things. Gold, silver. Look at Solomon. Probably one of the most material blessed men in history but in the new testament in the new covenant with jesus our, our blessings are spiritual in nature and that's what we want to go after that's what we want to make sure that we're tapped into don't get so caught up and fragmented in your mind seeking after worldly things that you miss your real blessings and forget to count those this, this has really been on my mind lately. We should never compare ourselves to the world and the riches of the world. You know why? It's like apples and oranges. We're comparing spiritual to carnal? We shouldn't do that. It's, a, it's kind of like a human nature to want to do that, but we should not do that. I am blessed because I know who he is. I'm blessed because I've been baptized in Jesus' name. I'm blessed because I got the Holy Ghost. I'm blessed because I got a beautiful wife. I'm blessed because I got a great pastor. He's back there tonight, actually. I love this church. I'm blessed because of all of you. Most of all, church, we've got Jesus, and we know who he is. Be blessed.